Hi all, this is Chris Charles with Everyday VBA. In this video we're going to be going over the last row or last column and I'm going to go over a couple nuances. So if you're new to coding, you're basically going to say, hey, I just want to know what the last column is. And sometimes that last column is not necessarily what you're looking for. And so I'm just going to go over just kind of three different ways to do this. Um, uh, I'll, I'll go over kind of my preferred ways and then some of the other ways that can, that can, can do this. So I'm, I've got my uh, Visual Basic Editor open. We're going to call this sub. We're going to call it last call or last row. And really the difference between last row and last column is really dot row or dot column. That's really all you're looking at. So the first way to do this is really to figure out what the last row on the sheet is. And now this may or may not be right, uh, but we're going to go, we're going to call this S, uh, uh, S last row, right? So that it would be sheet last row is equal to, um, and we're going to do uh, sheets, uh, active sheet dot, uh, actually we're, gonna, we're actually going to use the code name. So we're going to use sheet one. Um, we're going to do cells dot special cells and you'll see that there's a list of special cells that you have so the, the actual special there actually is a special cell of cell last cell and so that's the one we're going to use and we're going to do just dot row now let's go ahead and just process through this I'm going to hit F8 and it's going to give me 23 now you'll notice I've put 10 down here uh, and that is going to be my last row of my sheet. Now that may or may not be what I'm looking for, but based on what Excel says, what's the last row? It's going to be row 23 because that's the last place that I have data in there. And you could do the same thing uh, if we went S S C L or last column. We would copy the same thing. Um, and actually, what's funny is I didn't actually need to put sheets in there because I'm not making it uh, specific to this workbook. Um, okay, now I hit down, it capitalized it. I knew that I didn't misspell anything. So you'll see right here, we've got 23. I'm going to hit this again, and I'm going to get column 5, and that is correct. But that's not, that may or may not be necessarily what I'm looking for. So the next one that I like to use is the current region. So, for example, if I'm looking at this data set right here, and I hit Control A, it's going to highlight that, highlight that data set. Um, and really a lot of times if you're doing it correctly you're going to have a column with a contiguous region which means that either one of the rows or one of the columns at least is going to have a set of data and so in that case you're, it's going to look something like this and so you're going to go we're going to go uh, I'm going to call R for range R, um, R row is equal to and we're going to go range and I'm going to use um, I'm going to use current region, which is a function that I actually really like. And this is going to give me the current region column. Now I may have to do some fancy logic in here, um, and I'm going to because it's going to give me. I did column. I wanted row. Let's fix that real quick. And we're through here, and it's going to give me 12. Right? That's going to give me the first row. But really what I want to do here is I want to do current region dot cells and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do special cells dot uh, last cell dot row and that's going to give me the information that I need. Now there, you could back into that. You could do a count of those rows. That would be another way to do it. So this gives me 20, 23 which is not correct. Let me think about this here real quick. Current region. So this is actually going to be current region row plus range B. This is obviously not the way that I typically do this. Typically, I will just do the last row or column. Um, and if you've built your spreadsheet correctly, it's really the, a good way to do that. So you're going to go rows dot count. What that's going to do is it's going to give you the um, it's going to give you 12 plus your uh, rows count, which is going to give you 13, which is not what I'm looking for. Oh, because I got to do rows current region. As you can tell, this is not the common way that I do this. 
Um, the most common way that I do this is, is really the top one. So that's really how I do it, um, which is why it's kind of taking me a little time. I'd have to subtract one because I'm already starting on that that one and then we would have it right the last way that I the last way to do this which is very common um, I'm not necessarily a big fan of doing it this way uh, but this is a this is a very common way and I'm actually gonna pull over kinda where I found this this is on uh, stack overflow and this is really you do a row count and you do a basically a count up and so I'm just gonna show you how this works we're gonna go and I'm gonna copy that and we're going to do this is going to be count up so count row is equal to this and I'm just going to back into this so we're going to be the key to this one is you have to make sure that there's a couple things going on you have to make sure one you're down to the very bottom of your cells or the very bottom of your workbook so in this case I'm going to type in 100 because I want to be down to row 100 and I'm going to be column 2 and you'll notice that when I come through here um, what it's going to do is it's going to go say, oh, I need to go to, I need to go down 100 columns. I need to go over to the second row, which is all the way down here, all the way down there, and then I'm just going to do basically a control shift, a control up, um, which would be, in essence, what you're doing is you're coming down here to 100, and you're going like that. And now, what row is that? So that's an effective way to do it. Um, I typically, it's not, it's not typically what I do. I've just gotten in the. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's a good habit or a bad habit, um, but I basically have gotten the habit of just using whatever the whatever the the um, whatever Excel thinks is the last row, uh, which can get you in trouble if you if Excel thinks that you've got something down in a row down in a million and something you can have some issues. So that's some, that's really the 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 way to find the last row. So let me just come in here. I'm just going to um, add in here so that you can have your code. This is going to be uh, range CL, and the only difference here is I'm not going to use row, I'm going to use column. And then this is going to be columns. Now you'll notice that um, you'll notice a couple things on here while I'm kind of wrapping things up. Row is going to give you the row that you're in. Rows is going to give you like a count, right? Or uh, something along those lines. So whether you use row or whether you use rows, you're going to have different uh, different code options that you have. Um, so that should make some sense here. Now the same thing here. Um, it's going to be um, it would be x xl. This is going to be a little interesting because I've never done this. So we're going to just give it a shot. So we would actually come over here. We would be in row 18. You would flop these around. This would be 18, and then this would be 100, and then I'm going to come in here and see if I can get some IntelliSense in here, and I don't have that, so let's, uh, we're going to go XL, I'm totally guessing here, XL left dot, dot column, and this may completely air out on me, this is a complete total guess on that last one. Let's give it a shot, uh, and I get uh, it doesn't like XL left. That may only be XL up or down. XL left, so that actually may not even be a possibility. I'd have to look into it. Um, if I do figure out how to do that, I'll put that in my code with this video. Uh, make sure that you're liking my videos. If you like them, I also leave comments. If you have questions or comments, and check me out on Facebook as well. And I hope you enjoyed.